Between my brothers and I, we have accumulated hundreds of Lego sets from our childhood. Unfortunately, most of them haven't survived. That is, we have dozens of bins full of mixed up pieces. For those who haven't faced the task of trying to rebuild Lego sets, it's terrible, to be quite honest. There are hundreds of unique Lego pieces with about a hundred different color varieties, which means that there can be up to 10,000 unique pieces in a single bin. This makes sorting and finding pieces very difficult. If one had the stamina to rebuild a couple sets by hand, here's how they would do it in the most efficient way possible. One, open the Lego directions to the back where the Lego pieces for the set can be found. Two, go piece by piece and try to match the pieces from the bin to the pieces listed on the directions, somehow keeping track of the number of pieces as well, maybe with a piece of paper. Three, the pieces that do not match simply go back in the bin. And four, repeat the process with all the other bins until the sets are completed. Now this process is clearly inefficient and cumbersome. I've personally done this when I was a kid and the pain of saying, I just saw that piece a minute ago is unbearable. I created a list of all of the inefficiencies with rebuilding sets by hand. One, you can only rebuild a couple sets at a time. Otherwise, it's too hard to keep track of all the different pieces for each set. Two, going piece by piece and matching them is just inefficient. Three, the pieces that you looked over but do not match the sets you are building have to be looked at again for the next sets you build and again after that. Four, it's difficult to keep track of the piece count on paper or in your head and five, you have to cycle between bins until the sets are completed. I have seen people online create a variety of Lego programs in automatic sorters, probably the most popular ones being the AI recognition and sorting systems. The problem with these projects is that they don't really apply to my situation. One, we don't buy Legos anymore, so there's a finite amount of Lego sets that need to be rebuilt so the project is going to have a relatively short lifespan. Dumping a lot of time into a project would be somewhat wasteful. Two, for me, this whole project should revolve around efficiency and time. So if I spend more time creating a more efficient way of building the sets than just building the sets by hand, then the purpose is defeated. My goal here is to make the least tedious, tedious way of rebuilding Lego sets. What I have created is what I believe to be the most efficient way of rebuilding Lego sets. The Lego sorting application is a Java built program and although the UI doesn't look colorful, it's a super powerful sorting application. Basically this application is a master booklet for any number of sets. You can enter any number of sets into the application and it combines all the pieces into one master list. The pieces are combined by their type and not color. The reason for this is to cut down on the size and redundancy of the list. If I have a thousand types of pieces with a hundred different color varieties for each type, my master list could be up to a hundred thousand rows, which just isn't usable. Then the master list on the application shows the quantities needed for each piece to complete all of the sets entered. So, my brothers and I have to find pieces of the same type in the bins and enter the quantity and color that we found. The application will then tell us which sets need those pieces. Here's a demo of the application. First, I'm going to load a couple of Lego sets by inputting the set number. I can add however many sets I want in this application. The application then pulls up an online database for the specified set and scrapes the site for the pieces. This eliminates having to input the types, colors, and quantities of pieces for each set by hand. After a number of sets have been entered, the master list is populated with the piece ID, description, and image of the piece, and the total count needed. This list is sorted by the total count so that the most common pieces will be at the top and the more unique and rare pieces will be at the bottom. I can view the progress of a specific set as well. When I do this, it displays the individual pieces and the progress for those pieces. I can also view all of the sets in the current session. 
I can also remove a set if I don't want to build it anymore, and the master list will be updated accordingly. I can also persistently load and save my progress so I can close the application and come back to it later. So now I'm actually going to start building the sets. Here I've found a couple of 2x4 pieces, some light gray and some yellow. After I have a bunch, I'm going to enter the quantity of the light gray ones first. I added an autofill feature so that I only have to click on the piece instead of entering the piece ID every time. After doing this, on the left panel, the set IDs pop up that need that piece, along with the amount for that individual set. The smaller sets get priority so that the smaller sets get completed faster. This keeps the building optimal because the larger sets are going to take longer anyways, and if our goal is to complete as many sets as possible, starting with the smaller ones is better. I then place the pieces in the piles or bags for each set. Then, I'm going to add the yellow ones to the program, and the left panel will change. If the panel shows nothing after the entry, that means that the color isn't needed by any set and the pieces can be set aside. I will continue this process until the sets are completed. The way my brothers and I did this was that we entered 30 sets into the program. I sat at the computer and they sorted the pieces from the bins by type. After their piles started building up, I took them and entered them into the program and put them into their designated sets. What this does is that 30 sets cover most piece types and colors, so it is an almost guarantee that any piece they pull out of the bin is needed. This makes the process more efficient because there are no pieces going back into the bins that would otherwise not be needed. This eliminates redundant sorting. Here's a summary of all of the efficiencies that this program provides. One, reduces piece sorting by 66% as it auto sorts the pieces by set and color. Two, allows persistent saving and loading. Three, automatically loads Lego sets using web scraping. Four, sorts the master list by the most prevalent pieces. Five, gives priority to smaller sets. Six, eliminates redundant piece sorting. Seven, automatically updates color names, eight, it's easy to follow and has a simple user interface. Here are some of the sets we have rebuilt with this program. I would love to talk more about this program if anyone is interested. Just leave a comment or email me. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.